Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Greg here today. I bring you guys a Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay commentary, which you guys watch in the background. It's a 47 gun streak on Tavorsk District. This could be one of my new ground war strategies I've been trying out uh, yesterday while I was trying to grind for some gameplays. I got a, quite a few. Uh, I'd say maybe four or five gameplays during my grind session yesterday. But anyways, this one right here, like I said, is a 47 gun streak with the MP7 on Tavorsk District. I'll put the class on the screen real quick so you guys can see um, my attachment loadout. And then um, let's go ahead and talk about the perks as well as my equipment. So um, I was using Cold-Blooded, Ghost, and Spotter. Normally, I am against Cold-Blooded just because I like lethal kill streaks. I think that, you know... Uh, the support helo and the VTOL are heavily nerfed ever since Warzone came out because people use their Warzone classes in multiplayer. And one of the most common perks for Warzone is Cold Blooded. So nowadays, VTOLs and support helos are kind of useless in Ground War and even regular multiplayer because the influx of Cold Blooded users from Warzone and such. And, uh, but I decided, you know what, if you can't beat them, join them. So I started using Cold Blooded. Um, and honestly, it kind of helps because there are a lot of thermal snipers on Tavors District as well as other maps. And just, I guess sometimes, you know, if you blend in a little bit better being grayed out with Cold Blooded on, um, it can really help you guys, you know, stay alive a lot longer. You'll be less targeted by people using thermal. And I also think that... Um, if you don't want to use cold-blooded and you feel, you know, maybe you're not playing against a lot of thermal snipers or the enemy team is not good enough to be putting up uh, high kill streaks or anything like that, and, you know, you really just want to capitalize on your own gun skill and gameplay, then I would definitely recommend something like Quick Fix because Quick Fix can really help you guys out whenever you are taking on multiple enemies at once, and especially since, you know, people can spawn on their squad mates in Ground War, uh, that can really help you out whenever there are multiple people around. So just kind of get a feel for the lobby, you know, what map is it, and then determine do you want to run Quick Fix or do you want to run uh, Cold Blooded. And then if all else fails and you're just in a sweaty lobby and you really need that extra, you know, power for your team and you need those kill streaks, Kill Chain is always the best option for that. So, um, yeah, I would definitely say, you know, fill out, fill out the lobby, uh, which one you're in, and adjust your class in the lobby according to what you're going to be playing against. Anyways, this advanced UAV was not really used all that much simply because a lot of people, uh, I mean, I had to rotate out since not a lot of people were spawning at D, and I had to come back to C, so, um, surprisingly, you know, I only got like four kills while the advanced was up, and I still ended up going on a 47 gun streak, and there was not another advance called in. So overall, that was pretty pretty nice. Um, also, uh, back to the perk selection, I have Spotter on because, like I said, I'm not using EOD. We're using uh, Cold Blooded, and I just I don't know. Personally, I don't really think EOD is all that needed in Ground War because you can kind of take things at your own pacing. If you're going to be rushing balls to the wall, that kind of would make sense because you know um, C4s and stuff like that. But at the same time, excuse me, at the same time, I really find that most people in Ground War are going to be using uh, claymores and proximity mines, and if they are running C4, usually I don't know that the ranges you can take people on can be a lot farther than we're gonna get C4 that so yeah I just I just don't really see UD as the most useful perk for ground war but um, anyways moving on spotter yeah that's why I run spotter because of claymores and proximity mines ghost obviously so we can go on a longer streak in case enemies get UAVs um, and stuff like that and then I really should brush up upon the smoke grenade. So I've been using the smoke grenade on my classes in Ground War as of lately, and the reason I've been using the smoke grenade is because um, it's a really good way to be able to cross streets and have more freedom of movement on the map. So a lot of the time in my gameplays you would see me using something like a stim shot, and the reason I use stim shot is so I could get across the... Um, you know, I could get across the street a little bit faster if I pop it to get my uh, tactical sprint recovered, as well as it basically serves as two quick fixes, right? You can just instantly regenerate your health whenever you use one, and, uh, you know, if you get into a sticky situation, it can help you out. But um, as of recent, I decided, you know what, I don't really need stim shot if I got stopping power, so I've been using munitions box and stopping power as my field upgrades, and I feel that I don't really need quick fix of stopping power because I'm going to kill in one less bullet anyways, so um, yeah, that's that's the reason I don't use the stim shot in that regard, and honestly, I've noticed a huge improvement with the smoke grenades in ground war, 
and the reason is simply because I can block off lines of sight and you know I have cold blooded on as well with the smoke grenade so if someone wants to use thermal I'm not going to glow white hot through it even though I'll still be able to be seen but it's just that little bit of added extra protection I guess you could say um, and overall I just I really feel that the smoke grenade is a great option right here as you guys can see I'm low health I don't have my stems but what I can do is I can smoke off an area that people might be coming from uh, so I can get across and it's just I absolutely love it um, it allows me to play more aggressive even though right here I'm gonna be sitting behind this counter and uh, real quick the reason I'm sitting behind this counter is just so that way I can get a little bit of intel on where people are as you guys can see there is a UAV up however there were people around here and they could have ghost so you just want to make sure you know that since they were hunting for me I wanted to wait in an off position and see if they would come back but no one came back so I kind of felt out the timing on it and now I'm gonna go ahead and push up forward and try to get my nuke um, I load up stopping power instead of getting another smoke grenade or claymore simply because you know one kill off that nuke I really just kind of want to guarantee it and uh, yeah so since they were spawning on the a side that's why I was able to basically you know push up this way actually were they spawning on A side? You know, I honestly don't remember which side they're spawning. I think it was A side, um, and that's why I pushed up this way because if they were spawning on the uh, C side, then they would have been, or the E side, they would have been to my back, which would have been really bad. But anyways, uh, I was playing with one of my friends, and I asked her. I said, "Should I go for my highest gun streak?" She said, "Yeah, go for it." So I was gonna try to break my 64 gun streak. I know that's kind of weird for divorce district. But you guys will see the way I end up dying off this streak, and it was very unfortunate because. Um, it's just, just the good old 725. <laughs> oh man, I was on a 47 gun streak just to get ended by a 725. It does not feel good, but right here I'm just looking for people to go after because they're uh, basically all over the place. We only have B, and eventually it's going to come down to the point where um, we basically just have A left that the enemies have and I'm able to just go there and get a lot of kills but I get aggressive you know I'm just playing really aggressive and it's because I already got my nuke and stuff like that so uh, yeah things end up happening where I just get killed by 725 because I didn't know what gun he had of course it was an overkill user too and uh, he was in we were in the stairwell and he gave me the hot clap with 725 you guys will see whenever that happens right here anyways uh, moving forward uh, right here I'm back to the good old power position I like to say the this is one of the best power positions on Divorce District because you can rotate quickly between B, C, and D. And that's one of the reasons I absolutely love this uh, area to be in. As you guys can see, I'm just looking around for some kills on people. This MP7 class up's a little bit different right there. If I had the recon, I think it's the FSS recon barrel, I probably would have been able to hit that guy because the bullet velocity would have been a lot higher. But I was actually using the strike, as you guys saw on the class setup. And the reason I was using the strike barrel is because, if you guys don't know, I'm going to put in the uh, link to in the description below there's a website called cod gun data and basically you can see all the stats on the attachments for each gun uh, for LMGs SMGs and assault rifles and I've been using this now for my class setups because I'm trying to find you know what is going to benefit me for my play style the best you know how do I play Call of Duty and generally it's a little bit more defensive uh, more oriented around objectives you know trying to basically keep people come from coming out of objectives and trying to attack ours and that's kind of the way I generally like to play as well as to streak up and get high kill streaks so you know I'm looking for attachments that are going to benefit me in that area usually if you're a streaker you're going to be wanting something that's going to have bullet velocity because you're going to be taking people off at uh, farther ranges uh, you're also going to want something that's going to of course help you out with recoil control uh, you're going to want something that's going to suppress your gun because you are trying to go on longer kill streaks, so therefore you're going to want to stay hidden. Uh, you're also going to want to use, you know, just stuff that's going to balance out the mobility also, just so that way you're not too slow, you're not a sitting duck when you're ADSing, stuff like that. There's a lot of things you got to keep in mind while you are basically building your class. And this website, I'm telling you guys, it really helps you guys out if you use it. Um, you can see basically all the stats. You can play around with it, you know, build what you would think would be good, and you can see how much it negatively affects the gun. And honestly, guys, there were some setups that I was starting to use in the game that are actually more of a hindrance than they are helpful. So, you know, seeing that and being able to correct my creative class mistakes because of this uh, website 
is very helpful and if you guys want I can bring you guys some best class setups that I would recommend by using this tool and uh, you guys will be able to see um, you know what my recommendations would be for so if, if you play generally you know you know to my play style and you uh, play a little bit more defensive or uh, you know you're a streaker stuff like that I could show you guys what my setups would be um, and stuff like that and I'll do that throughout my gameplays but I'm always experimenting with the gunsmith and I'm always trying to find you know new setups that can be fun and rewarding and try to get high streaks with so uh, anyways back to the gameplay right here this is where I'm gonna go ahead and die I end up sliding down here because I figured I could get the guy on the timing but he was a overkill 725 user and he got the best of me so anyways I call it my tactical nuke and uh, yeah I tried to actually get a little bit more of a uh, kill streak going you know try to rebuild my kill streaks but I just kept dying to some snipers and stuff so I died three times after I got my nuke and uh, it decided you know what it ain't worth it I'll just call up the nuke and end the game so we end up going 81 to 4 I believe and uh, overall, it was a really fun match for Tavor's District, 47 Gun Streak. Those are my new update tips for some ground war. And uh, as well as check out that uh, gun builder online. You guys can see all the different stats and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.